With a net worth of over $3.5 billion, Oprah Winfrey has proven that your Grace to Grass story should not limit your success. Most known for her legendary television show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, she is also known as a writer, actor, businesswoman, and philanthropist. Oprah rose from poverty through determination and hard work. She began her network and invested in numerous other businesses, and today she is the world's first black woman billionaire. She has gone ahead to break many more records, including becoming the 20th century's richest African American, America's greatest black philanthropist, and the Golden Globe's first female black Cecile B. DeMille Award. Oprah loves to work hard and give back to her society, but how does she give back to herself? In this video, we'll be looking at how the world's first black woman billionaire spends her billions. It's no secret that billionaires love to invest in real estate, and Oprah isn't any different. She owns a very extensive real estate portfolio, with houses in the juiciest of countries. Oprah has an impressive home in Montecito, which she calls the Promised Land, and rightly so, because this two-acre land includes a 23,000-square-foot Georgian-style house, a 6,000-square-foot redwood guest house, and an outdoor area that is perfect for a pool, tennis court, and multiple patios. In 2001, Oprah snagged this beautiful mansion for $50 million. She went ahead to buy up nearby properties so she could expand her promised land. Montecito is located about six miles from downtown Santa Barbara. The massive home also features a large pond with a fountain in the backyard. Oprah's second home in Montecito costs $6.85 million. The cozy home sits on a four-acre lot that houses a stucco-clad main house, guest house, pool house, carriage house, a gated equestrian facility with stables, and a track room. After that, in 2003, she bought two properties in Maui, totaling 163 acres, and they both cost her about $5.3 million. Her Maui estate sits on the slopes of Mount Haleakala. The 21st century farmhouse has a wraparound porch with ocean views, a country-style chef's kitchen, a terrace off the master bedroom, and a dining space for six people. With the help of decorator Ellie Cullman, Oprah reinvented the farmhouse into an exciting modern farmhouse. She made several adjustments to the house, such as the addition of the French doors, a raised ceiling in the main suite, and the wraparound porch. She has described the house as a gem, so sweet and exquisite. By 2014, she made the headlines when she purchased nearly 60 acres of land near the Telluride Ski Resort in Colorado. She got the land for a cool $10.85 million. Later on, she decided to double her holdings in Telluride with the purchase of a state-of-the-art $14 million mansion. It features five bedrooms with six and a half bathrooms. This beautiful home is set on 3.25 acres. The structure is made of stone, glass, and wood. It has a 56-foot-long underground wine cellar that has sounds of creaking wood and dripping water played through a speaker. Oprah's Telluride home also features a tempered glass bridge with integrated fiber optic lighting that connects the main suite to a private office. The private office is connected to a second 45-foot bridge that extends from the house to a terrace. She also owns a 41-acre estate located on Orcas Island in the northwestern corner of Washington State. It is a 7,303-square-foot estate with four bedrooms, five bathrooms, a separate 2,948-square-foot guesthouse, which she got for the grand prize of $8.275 million. The main house features a double-height great room with a stone fireplace, a library with floor-to-ceiling bookshelves, and a kitchen with a built-in pizza oven. The compound, also known as Madron Eagle, includes a sauna, an Asian garden, and a private beach. However, she had to sell this property for $14 million. Oprah also owns a 23-acre horse farm estate that she bought for nearly $29 million at an auction. This property is about three quarters of a mile from the beach and up against the mountains. In a bid to expand her Montecito home, she bought Simea Farm, which is located just a stone's throw from her original 42-acre Montecito home. Simea Farm is 23 acres of land that she bought for $28.85 million. It's one of the largest in the area, and it includes a main house designed by Californian architect Cliff May. 
It features ample outdoor amenities such as a swimming pool, patio area, fish pond, fruit orchards and two private wells. It boasts a 44-acre dedicated preserve that is perfect for raising an assortment of crops, a training area, multiple stables and a large circular paddock. Aside from real estate, Oprah also owns a private jet, the Gulfstream G650 to be specific. With the registration tail number N540W, she bought the G650 for $75 million. The expensive private jet is a twin-engine jet made by Gulfstream Aerospace, and it can hold up to 19 passengers. It's definitely one of the best private jets that money can buy. However, Oprah bought this jet to enjoy some privacy, because it is a lot more convenient. Moreover, she had countless interactions with people at airports who told her that she wasn't acting like you do on TV. This pushed Oprah to switch to a private aviation, and we can say that it was definitely worth it since she can afford it. Despite having a busy schedule, Oprah always finds some time to wind down. She usually does this by going on vacations and throwing elaborate parties. She loves to travel on exciting adventures. In 2006, she went on an 11-day cross-country road trip from Santa Barbara to New York City with her best friend Gail King. In 2010, the two best friends went glamping in Yosemite. A few days later, they went truffle picking in Umbria. Not only does she spoil herself every once in a while, she spoils others around her too. In 2006, after one of her high-class parties at her Montecito estate, it was reported that she gave all the female guests diamond earrings as souvenirs. Also in 2009, she treated her employees with a $9.2 million 10-day cruise vacation. The trip was a gift for her employees, and the cruise went through Malta, Turkey, Greece, Italy and Spain. She also took her Oprah Winfrey network staff on a holiday to the iconic Maui Island. Although Oprah does not own her own yacht, she is seen cruising around with millionaire David Geffen's yacht called the Rising Sun. The Rising Sun is an enormous yacht with five floors, 82 rooms and 8,000 square meters of living space. It features an indoor swimming pool, a gym, private cinema and a basketball court which also doubles as a helipad. When it comes to automobiles, the billionaire has a collection of awesome cars. She owns a Cadillac Escalade, a Lincoln Navigator, a Tesla Model S and the 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. Although her entire car collection is not known, it has been speculated she may own even more cars than the public knows about. Besides having a huge real estate portfolio, Oprah has wellness investments. She doesn't mind splurging on anything that has to do with health and wellness. As such, in 2015, she purchased 10% of Weight Watchers stock for $6.79 per share. Weight Watchers, now called WW International, is a US-based global company that offers products and services that help in weight loss and maintaining a fit and healthy body and mind. In addition to WW, Oprah also invested in True Food Kitchen. They are a healthy eating restaurant chain in Phoenix. She has made it a point of duty to take care of her well-being. She spends a lot of money on expensive health and body maintenance precautions, including hiring a personal trainer who coaches her on keeping fit. Furthermore, it is an open secret that Oprah is big on charity and philanthropic acts. In 2006, she gave out gift cards worth $1,000 to hundreds of people to donate to charities of their choice. The following year, she established the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for girls in South Africa. And after a decade, she said she spent over $140 million in maintaining the academy. She has also awarded scholarships to over 500 students in Atlanta. The world's first black billionaire owns a charity organization called Oprah's Angel Network. It was created in 1998, and they've raised over $80 million for charity through donations. Oprah has been known to raise funds as well as donate money to natural disaster victims. An example of this was when she donated $10 million to the relief of Hurricane Katrina victims in 2005. She also supported the Time's Up campaign with $100 million. This was to enable sexual abuse victims to have their legal battle fees funded. She is significantly committed to other charitable causes, such as Free the Children, Peace Over Violence, and Woman for Woman International. As we can see, Oprah is rich but very giving. What are your thoughts on Oprah's spending? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this video. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Goodbye Luxcats, until next time.